lightning causes only about 14% of the wildfires in the United States, but lightning triggered wildfires burn about 60% of the acreage that's burned every year. Chris Vygaski with Vysala says lightning triggered wildfires that grow to be very large usually happen in remote parts of national forests, like last year's bootleg fire in Oregon, which was bigger than the Cameron Peak and East Troublesome fires combined. He says the National Lightning Detection Network run by Colorado-based Vysala evaluates every lightning event instantly and can isolate the bolts with potential to cause non metal damage. These are uh, possible areas for the wildland fire community to look for potential fire starts. And if we can identify these fire starts more quickly, we can get the fires put out before they rapidly expand. Here's the data from Monday, right before the fire start at Halligan Reservoir in Larimer County. Several negatively charged ground strikes were detected three of which showed high potential for triggering a wildfire. Vygaski says positively charged strokes are more destructive, but 90% of all lightning has a negative charge. The key indicator is how long the lightning stays in contact with the ground. The average lightning stroke lasts about 20 to 30 microseconds. The bolts with a high potential to start wildfires can last several tenths of a second. It doesn't sound very long, but that can be 1,000 times longer than normal lightning. Vygaski says it's called continuing current lightning. So you can look to the positive continuing current, you can look to the negative continuing current to really uh, identify which you know, lightning could potentially have triggered a fire in a certain location. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.